YouTube, welcome back. This is Ricky with Shoe Monster EDC. Today we're checking out the QSB Pangolin, if I pronounce that right. Um, I believe this is an older model, but QSB uh, through the Apex Knife Pass Around group has sent everybody uh, one of these knives who had signed up for it. So pretty damn sweet um, indeed. Um, let's uh, dive in, let's get into the specs. We're looking at 8.5 inches overall length, blade length is going to be 4.75 inches so yeah it's it's a larger size knife for sure it's a good full size knife the cutting edge is four and a half inches blade width we're looking at 1.3 i'm sorry 1.13 inches blade thickness is going to be 0.59 inches we do have uh, d2 steel which they did put it right there if we can see it there we go um we have a drop point with a nice swedge on the top uh, for your blade style which is great if you got a nice wedge like this. It's great for like piercing cardboard boxes, stuff like that. Um, pretty, pretty damn sweet. We have uh, this one here. We have a satin finish uh, blade, uh, edge type, plain. And uh, the handle length, 4.75 inches. Handle thickness is going to be 0 0.60 inches. Uh, we have the OD uh, G10 handle. Uh, frame liner is steel. And the weight on this bad boy is 5.3 ounces. So yeah, it's definitely not a lightweight carry. It's a full size knife with uh, a bunch of stainless steel uh, for liner. So it's it's gonna you're gonna feel it in your pocket for sure. Ah, uh, dot dot dot. It is a right hand user uh, tip up carry as far as the pocket clip goes. You cannot uh, bring this pocket clip um, to the other side. So no lefty love there. Sorry guys. Um, but you know it is what it is. Let's see, cha cha cha. We do have the flipper um, for your to deploy the blade. Notice there's no uh, jimping on the flipper, but the flipper stands out uh, pretty well, so it's pretty easy. You got light lighter detent on here, so you kind of give it a little extra oomph to get that blade out. Not too much. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Let's see. Uh, we do have a liner lock to close this blade up, as you can see. And uh, yeah. So <clears throat> this one here was made in China. It's considered an everyday carry knife. And also it does have a, it does feel tactical. You can get this in all black G10 uh, with a black blade, which actually looks really, really cool. Um, let's do some size comparisons real quick. Let's compare it to uh, your Spyderco Para 3. And yeah, you can tell it's definitely longer. Uh, it's, it's more of a full size knife than your uh, Para 3 by Spyderco. And uh, let's compare it to your Benchmade 940 Osborne. There we go. And um, it's even the Osborne is is shorter um, all around the handle and the blade. And this is a much more slimmer knife. I uh, can compare it that way. Uh, the blade blade stock here is a lot thicker than your um, Osborne. So let's compare it to an everyday carry Sharpie because everybody knows the size of a Sharpie. So there you go. Um, quite larger than your Sharpie. Let's close her up. Kind of get a feel of uh, how much space it's going to take up in your pocket when, um, you know, when you're carrying it around. So yeah, what do I think about this knife, guys? Um, well, it is a budget knife. Uh, price point I found on it is like 45, 46 bucks. Um, it is in stock uh, Blade HQ for the green version. Um, I know Blade HQ is they're out of stock uh, for the black version, which I think you can find that on Amazon if you like the black better. Um, I I don't know. I don't know if I, I like the black better or not on this, to be honest. You guys know I like my green. Um, this is an OD green, um, but the black one looks pretty damn sweet. So uh, as far as us usability, functionality of the knife, it's been nice. Uh, I used the shit out of this knife to cut cardboard, lots and lots of cardboard. I had to go to the uh, dump, make a dump run. <laughs> and I had a, a shit ton of cardboard a couple weeks ago. And this is the knife I used. I cut it all up and... It's pretty damn slicey. Um, for a budget knife, this is this is a great, great tool, guys. Um, and I love, love, love the nice uh, stone wash uh, blade style here. It's just nice swedge on the top. You got some grip, uh, jimping, I'm sorry, for, for the grip. Nice little ramp as well. Does it drop shut? Yeah, it does. I mean, this is a newer knife that I got. I've had it for a couple weeks now. Um, so it's it's broken in just a little bit, but you get a couple little wiggles in there. It will drop shut. Yeah, there you go. Um, Blade Center uh, QSB, their their quality control has just always been really really good. Um, so yeah, the blade is definitely centered up. Yeah, good stuff, right? 
Uh, as far as it carries, I kind of wish it was more of a deep carry, but not that big of a deal. You're going to have about that much uh, poking up out of your pocket. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, and it, it's been, it's surprised me because we do have D2 steel. Um, and I've cut a lot of cardboard boxes, which will, you know, you usually got as much as I cut, you, you know, it probably should be sharpened, but um, it's just, it's great. I cut these up a lot here. Um, it's just easy peasy nothing to it so it's been, it's been a great carry all around i've been carrying over this a lot and it's really really grown on me you guys know me i like my smaller knives but this one's just, it's pretty comfortable in the hand any hot spots i can feel a little bit on the clip here as it goes up but not a big deal um <clears throat> yeah so you can see that the g10's nice it has some nice little milling here it's not super super grippy but it's not you know super slippery or anything so uh, just keep that in mind. Nice open frame on that so you can clean it out easily. Don't see any lanyard holes for you lanyard junkies out there, but you can always throw something around the clip. Uh, that's one thing to consider. So yeah, all, all the way a, a great knife. QSB always just, they impress me. Um, I think one of my favorite knives by them is the Penguin, um, which, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, it's, it's, a very, <laughs> it's a very popular knife. And uh, they're, they're coming out with a mini uh, Penguin too. So, which I think I'm going to be looking at that, and that is a budget knife. Very excited about it. And I'm pretty excited about this one because I really get to test this one out, and I have been. Um, it's, it's, been it's been working working real well. Very excited about it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it, guys. What do you guys think? Um, what do you guys think about the blade style? Um, really impressed. Just looks badass. Looks more like a tactical knife, and it has a nice guard right here if you... You're gonna do any piercing it's gonna protect your fingers from slipping and hitting that blade so I really really like that um, I have not sharpened this blade up since I've gotten it and it's it's gotten a lot a lot of use out of it kind of cleaned it up for the video but I had like a lot of tape and stuff all over it and you know that tape goo you get and cut through boxes it's got tape on it and you gotta knock it off but I did clean it up quite a bit just so it you know it looks good on the video so yeah let me know down in the comments what you guys think smash that like button of course subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time all right bye